Hello, welcome to the magic of math where we're going to master math one more video today. Our video lesson is on solving absolute value equations. Your objective today is that you will solve absolute value equations. And what I would like you thinking about today is how can you use what you know about absolute value to solve an absolute value equation? So let's begin by going over a few vocabulary. What is absolute value? By now in your math career, now that you're in Algebra 1, you should have learned about absolute value, but let's review it to refresh our memories. Absolute value is the distance between a number and zero on a number line. The absolute value of a number, A, is written as absolute value of A. So these parallel lines are the symbol for absolute value. And just to review, distance is something that is always positive. When you are a certain distance from somewhere, you always use a positive number. When you get there, you don't say that you're negative miles away from where you were. You're still so many miles away. So it's a positive value. Now let's look at the absolute value of negative 5. That is equal to positive 5, and let me prove to you why. If I graph negative 5 on this number line, the distance that it is from 0 is 5. So it's 5 units away, so the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. If I graph positive 5, it is also 5 units away from 0. It doesn't matter that I'm on the left or the right, the distance that it is from 0 is 5. So that is how absolute value is proven. And remember, the absolute value of anything is always a positive amount. So now let's review absolute value and make sure you understand that. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video here and simplify these four expressions. Please come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So I hope you evaluated inside the parentheses first. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply. Negative 9 multiplied by 3 is negative 27. Now I'm going to find the absolute value of negative 27, which is positive 27. Here we have negative absolute value of negative 7. You can also imagine there's an invisible 1 here. So negative 1 multiplied by the absolute value of negative 7. So the absolute value of negative 7 is 7. And negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. Or think of it as negative 7 because the absolute value of this is 7. Over here we have negative 35 divided by 5, which is negative 7. And then the absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7. And last but not least, the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. And the absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 subtract 2 is zero. Moving on to absolute value equations. An absolute value equation is an equation that has an absolute value expression. So in the previous slide I showed you absolute value expressions. So here's an example of an absolute value equation. The absolute value of x is equal to 3. And we want to determine what value or values of x make this equation true. So I'm going to model this using a number line. And we know that we're talking about a distance of 3. So we're talking about absolute value is the distance something is from 0. So imagine that what this is telling you is x is 3 units from 0. So if we look at it on a number line, we're going to go 3 units from 0, we get to negative 3. But we can also go 3 units from 0 to the right and get positive 3. So therefore, we can say that x is equal to, here's a symbol, positive and negative 3. Some people write x equals negative 3 and 3, or you could write x equals negative 3 and x equals 3. But this equation has two solutions. And let's check it. So if I plug in negative 3 for x, the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. If I plug in 3 for x, the absolute value of 3 is also 3. 
So there are two different values that x could be, and it still will be equal to 3. If you're ever asked to graph an absolute value equation, what you would do is just plot the two points on the number line. So you wouldn't connect or shade anything in between. There'd be no arrows. There'd just simply be one point and a second point. Your turn. I would like you to solve the absolute value equation. Please pause and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So our solution for this would be negative 17 and x equals 17. So it's and, it's two different values. The absolute value of negative 17 is positive 17. And the absolute value of 17 is also positive 17. So our solution is x equals negative 17 and x equals 17. Now we're going to talk about solving an absolute value equation that has an expression inside the absolute value. So for a minute, I want you to think about this. Let's cover up what's inside. It doesn't really matter as we start to set up. We know that whatever is inside this absolute value expression can be equal to negative 9 and it can be equal to 9. So whatever is inside the absolute value expression, remember it could be equal to negative 9 because the absolute value of negative 9 is 9 and the absolute value of 9 is 9. So now we'll uncover it and now we know that x plus 4 is what is in the absolute value can be equal to negative 9 seeing as the absolute value of this is positive 9 and the x plus 4 could be equal to positive 9. So now we're going to solve each of our equations. We're going to subtract 4 from each side, because the inverse of add 4 is to subtract 4, giving us a solution of x equals negative 13. Negative 9 and negative 4 are negative 13. Let's check this. Negative 13 in for x. Negative 13 plus 4 is negative 9. The absolute value of negative 9 is positive 9, so it checks. Now let's solve our second equation. We are going to subtract 4 from each side, giving us a solution of x is equal to 5, since 9 subtract 4 is 5. Let's check. We're going to come back over to our original absolute value equation. If x were 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, the absolute value of 9 is 9, so it checks. So our solutions are x equals negative 13 and x equals 5. Your turn. Go ahead, pause, write two equations, check your solution, and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So here's our solution. So once again, it doesn't matter what's inside my absolute value expression, but I know that it can be equal to negative 14 and positive 14. Now I can uncover what was in there and know that it's going to be 6 plus x that can equal negative 14, and 6 plus x can equal positive 14. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. x is equal to negative 20. Negative 14 subtract 6 is negative 20. Come back over here to my second equation, negative 6 subtract from both sides, and x is equal to 8, 14 subtract 6 is 8. Let's check. If x was negative 20, 6 plus negative 20 is negative 14, and the absolute value of negative 14 is positive 14. Now we want to take our second solution of x equals 8, over here, if x were 8, 6 plus 8 is 14, and the absolute value of 14 is positive 14. So our solutions are x is equal to negative 20 and x is equal to 8. One thing to be aware of as you're solving an absolute value equation. An absolute value equation in the form, the absolute value of an expression equals c, will have no solution if c is less than 0. So if it's less than 0, that means c, that this equation is equal to a negative amount. The absolute value of anything, 
will never be equal to negative amount. So it can never be negative. So here's an example. We have the absolute value of x subtract 9 is equal to negative 5. So I can look at this. It doesn't matter what's inside the absolute value because there is no value I could put inside this absolute value expression that would ever be negative because absolute value represents the distance from zero and distance is never zero, is never negative. So there's no value to make this ever equal to negative five. So therefore, because the absolute value of nothing can't be ever be negative five, we have no solution. There is no value for x that will result the absolute value of x minus nine equals negative five. No solution would be your answer. So be careful because if you're not paying attention, you could still split this into two equations, get a solution, but the solutions would not check. So it's really important for you to check your solutions and think before you split them into two equations. All right, let's do some practice before we close up this video. I would like you to solve this equation and come back and hit play when you're done. Please pause. Welcome back. So I hope you wrote the equation x subtract 7 is equal to positive 18 and x subtract 7 is equal to negative 18. It doesn't matter what order you wrote them in. You could have flip-flopped them. We're going to add 7 to both sides to solve and x is equal to 25. Let's check it. 25 subtract 7 is 18. The absolute value of 18 is equal to 18. The second one, we're going to add 7 to both sides and x will be equal to negative 11. Negative 18 plus 7 is negative 11. Let's check it. If x is negative 11, negative 11 subtracts 7 is negative 18. Remember, add the opposite. Negative 11 add negative 7 is negative 18. The absolute value of negative 18 is positive 18. It checks. So our solutions are x equals 25 and x equals negative 11. Remember the order that you answer does not matter. Meaning if you had x equals negative 11 and x equals 25. Try this one. Please pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So I hope you have no solution. The absolute value of x, there is no value for x that will ever result the absolute value equals negative 21. Your turn. Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we're going to split into two equations. The expression inside the absolute value signs can be equal to positive 4 and the expression inside the absolute value can also be equal to negative 4. We're going to solve by adding 8 to each side, giving me negative 2x equals 12. Divide both sides by negative 2 to solve for x, and x is equal to negative 6. Let's check this. If x were negative 6, that'd be negative 2 times negative 6, which is positive 12. Positive 12 subtract 8 is 4. The absolute value of 4 is 4. And our second equation. Let's add 8 to both sides, giving us negative 2x is equal to 4. Negative 4 plus 8 is positive 4. Divide both sides by negative 2, and x is equal to negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Now let's bring this back up and check. If x is negative 2, negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 4. 4 subtract 8 is 4 add negative 8 or negative 4. The absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4 and it checks. So our solutions are x is equal to negative 6 and x is equal to negative 2. So there you have it. That's solving absolute value equations. I hope you'll come back for a future video where we're going to solve more complex absolute value equations. And that is it, the magic of math, where you are mastering math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe and sign up for notifications for new videos.
Have a great day.